Right, hello everybody, welcome to the second round match between Mankiz and Ducky. Um, we've got Chaos vs Elves, classic, classic matchup. Ducky's presumably chosen a kick, gone with the offset LOS, and this is how Mankiz is dealing with it. So I thought I'd start the record. I was going to start the recording after the kickoff, but I thought I'd, you know, start with the with the setup just to, so that people would have an idea how to deal with an offset LOS against Elves with two insane players. Especially helpful for somebody like Bernie Buffon if he's watching. Um, <laughs> in the booth with me, I've got PTK and PC. Hopefully, I'll tell them by their right names. Hello, chaps. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Evening. Um, yeah, I mean, I like this setup against the offset LOS, which we see entirely too much of in the CCL uh, by people that don't seem to understand its benefits, its weaknesses, and, and how you deal with it. Um, I, the only thing I might be tempted by here is to try and make the uh, the perfect defense a little le less useful by having the front line of this double wall, this anti-blitz wall he's built over the other side of the offset LOS, perhaps one step forward up on the line of scrimmage. Yes, I would have definitely put it one step forward um, because you're not really, like, you're not scared of a perfect defense in terms of no. um, guard locking you or anything of it. Like, if it was if it was lizard men, <laughs> that would be suicide. Yeah, absolutely. Because they'd... Against, a, against a much bashier team, I wouldn't. I'd have pretty much this set up. Yeah. Um, you could also look at maybe chevroning the, uh, the, the, the second row, which uh, with the quick step, he's just slightly doing that as he steps across. Um, but again, it's the, having those two lines, making breaking through the lines tougher for the Elves, even with Leap, it, it still means you know, if they take something down in the first row, they've still got to get through the second row or over the second row or dodge through the second row. Being Elves, they'll still do that quite happily, but at least it adds more dice rolls. Uh, tries to be some sort of defense against Blitz. Yeah. People always say, of course, you can't stop a Blitz. Um, you can't stop it happening, and if they get the nice dice, you can't stop good things coming from it, but you can make it harder. Yeah, and, and that was actually a good quick snap because that, that ball's right on the edge, so now he's he's yeah. within six in six inches. Six squares, so he can go and get it. Um, and if you're telling people that's six inches, then <laughs> I wouldn't sleep with you. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's another reason why a ball carrier can really benefit from kickoff return uh, against elves, particularly with the, these fearsome ball hawks that they, the duckies bring into the table. Just getting that ball and getting it into some kind of defensive shape as early as you can is so vital. Uh, but as you said, Jim, you know the quick snap has at least put it in range. But he's going to have to do it. Go for it. He can't stay on the edge. Mm, I don't know. He might be able to. I guess it, it's how easily the L's can get through, isn't it? But um, hello, Sol. Hello, ND Mark Two. And uh, yeah. So anyway, sorry for the benefit of people watching on YouTube. Uh, Mankiz was high TV and bought a wizard. Which means Ducky not only has the wizard, like, obviously there was a bit of um, pre-match shenanigans so that Ducky would get the wizard, but then Mankiz bought one anyway. So Ducky has actually got an extra apple and a babe as well as the wizard. And then looking at the teams, um, obviously the strength 5 bludge step catch is incredible. And he's got a strength that, um, you know, arguably better is the strength 4 arch 5 leap wrestle catcher, pretty amazing. He's got a mighty blow tackler and then some some of the good elves and then uh the chaos is just obviously murder murder kill murder team which is pretty nice isn't it like he's got some quite, quite a few tackles actually here looking at it yeah yeah. Go ahead, okay. yeah i was about to say compared to what you sometimes see he has managed to get them to that last level so a lot of them is starting picking up tackle extra tackle yeah, I mean, I, I really like this Chaos team. I think we've got, um, I think he got some skill ups uh, from the absolute killathon that he played against uh, Dionysian in the last round, where both teams just knocked each other right off the park. Um, so we're seeing, what, three tackle? Uh, all of them up on the line of scrimmage right now, which, I mean, I guess it's because it's his hittiest pieces. I think this is a beautifully built Chaos team. Uh, this is the sort of team I would be hoping to build uh, through the Ladders process. Because it's a team that's really, really built for playoffs. Actually, there's four tackle, isn't there? I told a lie. Yeah, four Not tackle. Again. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Two tackle pommers as well. Very important. So yep. that one can pom while the other one moves around to, to like cover and stuff. So uh, they can like exchange blitzes and piles, can't they? So that's very nice. And <laughs> hello, Wolfpack. Um, really solidly built Chaos Warriors, which I, mean, I always think it's, it's lovely if you've got hitty beasts and you've got a ball carrying beast. But actually, the strength of Chaos, uh, very literally, is in that AV9 strength four pieces that you can rely on to take some hits and also hopefully hit back. 
and these are built to do absolutely both of those. There's a stand firm one. There's a lot of guard up there, uh, and some you know some block mighty blows. So that even the ones without claw, and there's a couple of claw ones too, you know, are hitting reasonably hard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can just do the yeah. Um, again, for the benefit of YouTube, um, I've got a horrific ear pain today, so I haven't been able to stream because there's no way I could like concentrate and play Blood Bowl. So now, uh, and I still pre feel pretty terrible. So thankfully, it's nice to have some people on to do more talking <laughs> than I would have to normally do. So uh, yeah, I'll try to be less talkative. <laughs> Um, and yeah, obviously Ducky's great. I uh, did the top ten there, fourth best all time in in CCL win rate, and he is just a great player. He is a bit uh, rusty uh, by his own admission, as well as <laughs> other people's observations. And he got away with the LOS there, really, didn't he? Although obviously three stuns isn't ideal. At least only one removal. It's not permanent. Yeah, yeah it's, it's only a KO as well. I mean, if the one thing this elf team is, it is slightly short of players. I'm sure he'd love a bench of one on top of what he's already got on the field. Yeah, 100%, I'm sure he would love the 12th man, yeah. I mean, much beyond that, you might start to get into just over bloat, but, but certainly some sort of reserve. Now, despite, I mean, Mankis did do what I say, which was, you know, it's what I predicted, which was pick the ball up and decide not to stay on the edge against these elves. Because that strength 4 leaper is just such a nightmare. It can go where it wants with its agility 5. I didn't. I actually thought you were right, Jimmy. He didn't need to. The way he, the line of scrimmage worked out for him, with that huge line of, of good armor and strength between where the uh, the two stronger elves were and where the ball was picked up, um, I thought that was perhaps a tiny bit unnecessary. But it was, you know, it was extra safety. I didn't hate it. Yeah, it was a bit insurance against the wizard, wasn't it? I guess he could have yeah. he could have been bolted and then it could have gone in the crowd, which could have just been a lost game on turn one, I guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. These two wizards are going to be huge in terms of momentum swings in this game. Yep. I mean, it does give Ducky so many different options of coming for the ball, you know, both with the strength four leaper. I mean, that can come in with it. It's got a wrestle skill on it as well. So it's agility five, strength four, and wrestle. Um, that is just a sack monster. And then the wizard, of course, can put the ball down anytime you want. And if that ball is ever even remotely unguarded, um, the strength five does come with blotch. So it can, uh, can dodge in as long as it's not dodging off tackle reasonably effectively. Uh, even into two tackle zones, maybe. And then definitely, even with some guard covering it, get two dice on the ball. There's just so many ways this can go wrong for Mankis. And in return, oh, wow. what he's really looking for, of course, is mass removals. I did not like that. No. I didn't like the push just direction. As I said, he's looking for mass removals. That's exactly what he tried to do with a greed reroll, uh, trying to take out... I mean, it's it's taking one of his uh, mighty blow pom pieces onto, a, I mean, one of the lesser catchers, but still a catcher only comes with AB7. So I guess that's why he justified it himself. But it puts him down to two rerolls for the rest of this drive. And with the wizard possibly coming in at some point, that feels very risky to me. Yeah, I, I, that was very rowdy. Yeah, I, did not, I did not enjoy um, that. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Lehman Russ. Hello, Chugs. Hello, Vin. Hello, Fugonomic. It's still terrible, to be honest, but, uh, you know, it's it's different watching a game. I can still watch a game and talk. I, I, there's no way I could have played Blood Bowl today, sadly. I know well, anyone's going to be able to play Blood Bowl tomorrow with the... Uh, no. <laughs> so Anyone that hasn't heard that's listening tonight, of course, Blood Bowl is cancelled tomorrow on the uh, Blood Bowl 2 client. Mm. They're turning it off, well, certainly before I'm getting up in the morning, <laughs> and then not turning it back on until 7 p.m., some time zone they've not been particularly helpful or specific about. <laughs> seven, I'm, I'm, seven I'm PM. Made it, made it in, so it's six in the morning, yeah, to evening. Um, <laughs> so it's Central European time, which is the time zone they actually in. I think they ended up the second three PM. But they tweeted Central European summer time. Yeah, 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 yeah they, they did. Were, they were up. <laughs> but most of tomorrow, from like six to six, let's just most of tomorrow, no blood bowl. People have I to do something. Keep else. saying I want to resist judging on the past and be hopeful for Blood Bowl three. <laughs> but then we get Mutan dwarves advertised to us and time zones that don't actually exist at the time they're talking about. And you sort of think, Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I was a bit devastated, HDK, because I wish that had been—I wish that had coincided with my ear. 
<laughs> but instead I'm probably going to be alright tomorrow, hopefully going to be alright tomorrow and then not be able to stream anyway. But, it's a good um, news for you in that. I mean, another day off for, for the year, you know, from wearing headsets or having to listen to mics and, and things, it's not going to be bad for you, is it? That's going to help. I guess, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Definitely won't just mean you stream Blood Brother, but Battle Brothers all day, will it? I could do Battle Brothers all day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully I'll have paint tomorrow all day, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> hopefully I'll just be in pain all day tomorrow, so it'll be... It won't be a waste that the servers are down. <laughs> I was going to say, does that mean the servers won't be down? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're seeing the classic elf wall here. Be amazed how many people don't seem to be able to build one when they try. And he was just looking for a push there so he could recover the two down delves, I think. That's why he risked yeah. the one die. Of course, it's a, a three plus to get the move that he was after, yeah. and uh, two plus for it not to be a huge problem. And he does have three rerolls, so he could have put one in on a, a skull, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. I think that was maybe the play. Yeah, reroll the skull. And not anything else, but maybe not though. Maybe they're just taking the skull. And uh, yeah, sorry, this was old raw X. The overdog wizard. Yeah, um, man kiss has put in a wizard. Um, so Ducky has a wizard and a babe and an extra apple. Hello, and it's why making the three plus, the two plus failed on that uh, that rookie line elf he was trying to recover. But even in the position it's down, the reason he didn't re-roll that is the position it's down is still a better, stronger position for it to be standing up in next turn. And it's still actually in the way of where the Chaos want to perhaps be advancing if they get some nice hits in the, uh, the sort of X line of scrimmage scrum area. But the yeah. first one was only a push, so it, I don't see them advancing through there this turn. Not really. That seems suicidal. Yeah, the wizard, the wizard combined with the Edge Five is is terrifying, isn't it for the <laughs> for the chaos here? And like, even, and even if they didn't have the wizard, you know, you've got to protect the ball and everything, haven't you? There's the strength five and everything, but with the wizard as well, it's really like. <sighs> He's and really it's the reason we're seeing this, the longer he keeps that wizard dry, of course, it's the reason we're seeing this extended cage with a line of three beasts, two in front of the ball, and then only one beast standing right next to the ball. It's to prevent fireball, obviously, taking too many out at once and allowing an easy route in. I mean, there's still a fireball to the front edge of that can take four players down, and I, you'd have thought any two of them would allow these uh, their strength five elf straight in at that ball. Yeah, but it will be, if you don't leave anything, it will be hit from the front. <laughs> Not ideal scatters if it, if it's not the ball carrier, you know. But yeah, certainly with the players he's got with that strength five and that strength four, the the fireball has got to be yeah. a consideration, hasn't it? Maybe it's more than it normally would be. I like normally yeah, in a bolt, think. aren't you? But um, I mean, normally with elves, you're definitely bolting, uh, lightning bolting the ball carrier, and then just trusting that wherever it goes to, you'll be able to either scatter it again with a push on or a power on someone or just get in and take it anyway but yeah i mean it's 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 a filthy opposition to be facing these two evil elves and a wizard and of course the longer it stays dry the harder the chaos are going to find it to find the space to get forwards while still keeping a diff good defensive shape against the, the huge number of weapons these elves are bringing to the table right now yeah, it, it, it is doing a great job, isn't it? Even without being used, the, just the sheer threat of it is just making him advance really slowly, really carefully, and, and can't, you know, so it's, it's underestimated, I think, how powerful a wizard is. Definitely. I mean, it's a tool of psychological warfare. It's, it's enormous, let alone for actually changing the game when it is used. Uh, I mean, that said, I'm a great believer that if you can keep it dry too long, you can, you know, you can hold on to it for too long and miss that that sort of, you know, the key swing term where it would have been a perfect use. Um, so I'm never afraid to actually fire it off, even if I think in turn two or three it can change everything for me. But yeah, ideally you, you don't use it at all. You keep it dry and win the game without it, and then you've constantly got that threat and that change in how the opponent has to build their turn and build their shapes. Big foul coming in now, isn't it? DP, two assist foul on the, uh, on the edge five. I don't really know how it's happened, to be honest. <laughs> Ah, oh, he only gets the stun, but uh, he's again all about creating the space. 
and it's uh, just in uh, the mighty blow needs to go for it to hit that dirt player if you want to hit it with mighty blow because it's parked all the way on the side. Yeah, Ducky did allow himself to get a little bit out of shape in that turn before, I thought. Uh, perhaps a little too focused on recovering those two rookie elves that were down. Um, and instead it's cost him another KO, and uh, that stunned a G5 strength four piece. I suppose one of the great things about the Elves team is there is some versatility. Obviously, you always want to hit with Mighty Blow if you possibly can. Um, but if you possibly can't, then hitting with a strength of five piece isn't a bad substitute, is it? No, you could get two, three dice. <laughs> yeah, easy three dice, and certainly it doesn't need assists even to knock over a Chaos Warrior. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty All scary. of which brings a lot of utility. He's lacking guard though, isn't he? He doesn't have any guard at all on the team. So that is the one thing he's very reliant yeah. on the yeah, strength yeah. five and the strength yeah, four. So if, yeah, if those two goes bye bye, then it's, it goes from being a good high elf team to be a pretty ordinary team. If yeah, those bang, two... bang ordinary without those two. But I mean, with those two, then ordinary elves are perfect backup. Yeah, you don't. You just need two good players, right? Yep. Or one. My water is fine. If it's, if it's a nasty. My that war dancer was all right. I, I'd lost. I, I had problems some of the games if I hadn't had at least one other good player. I would say the other good player core was you. <laughs> it also takes something there to keep are. it alive for fucking six rounds. Five Add yourself a simultaneous better insult and compliment for that. <laughs> So again, a very rowdy advance there on the hit. Is he going to... He can't foul back with the numbers he's got, can he? And the dirty player, just a few. He can't say that one. But he can dodge away. Uh, see. Yeah, he can dodge away. But it's still put the mighty blow piece at risk. I think that's getting pommed this turn, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And, and he, he, like he, it's hard for him to put... Like, he's got good players, hasn't he? He can't protect them all. That's the problem. Oh. Uh, that's, that's only two he really needs to protect. The well, and because it, right. yeah, because it was stunned. I mean, it, it pomming that mighty blow because he can't foul back. It won't be at risk, and uh, that's going to allow you to put three assists in on another foul on this strength four. I mean, that's going to stretch your resources oh, okay. a little in terms of keeping yeah. the ball safe. But you could always drop the ball all the way back. But of course, then it uh, gets cut off by an elf wall between the. He's uh, going uh, the advanced uh, party in the ball area. It looks he's like he's trying to make the space around the right-hand side instead. Yeah, and it's also going for the squeak, squeaky targets where he can use any down target and just try to get numbers. The thing is, if he can get rid of some of the fad, those catches is going to be exposed sooner or later anyway. Um, I still wouldn't be amazed to see him uh, try dodging off the dirty player piece at the end of this turn and putting a foul in on the, uh, the strength four no, JG5 piece. I will. <laughs> There's yes, no I, not to. I would, and I'm not particularly fouling. No, but that's uh, that's some few players in uh, that's worth fouling, and pieces like that is uh, like even with an elf player that's worth fouling. <laughs> with plus three on a on a catcher, or plus two it would be. I mean, it might even be worth leaving an assist or two in there. There's the uh, the pommer that pommed last turn could just stand up and give you an assist and yet still the entire the rest of the team could sweep around to the right again if you really wanted. No, nope, he's running away. What he could have done was he could have like made the ball safe and then do the dodge for the foul and if it works then move all the warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do the foul first, absolutely. Again, if he perhaps hadn't overused that greed re-roll early, if he still had three, that might be tempting me more because then I could even put the re-roll into it and still feel I had two for the remaining four turns. But instead, he is absolutely trying to seize that space up the right-hand flank. Uh, I like that. Space is very hard to come by against a high elf team anyway, because other than the catches, there is a fair amount of AV. So you're not going to get the stuns you do against pro or wood elves. Uh, and the catches, of course, are so fast in swipping around that any break down one flank, they can cut off. But it does expose them to hits and risk. And of course, building, as I said, this larger shape, trying to stay safe, safe from the wizard, it, you need a larger area, obviously, to run into, or you end up tightening up, and then the wizard definitely comes in. But the ball at the moment is so far over the other side of the pitch from the strength five, uh, and the other two catchers as well, that 
this certainly isn't an attractive position to wizard, no matter how tight the pack ends up. Yeah, I don't think don't feel he has to be worried about the wizard this turn, but I think next turn no. might get a bit tricky for him because then yeah. he's probably not going to have the threat to switch sides as much next turn, so maybe his ducky could get a bit more rowdy next turn. And then Unless he does leave those two warriors there and then dodge off for the foul. That would give him you know three nice strong pieces in the middle of the field. Yeah, and he's got, got that guard in the backfield that can move in to back cover as well. Yeah, maybe no, he's that, got enough that, cover for the ball. Mm, the strength no. five is a long way away. I, I would have definitely rather kept the strength five central. Yeah, yeah um, I think that, but that guard placement suggests he's uh, moving a bit more away than. Uh, yeah, that. absolutely. It suggests the warriors are coming too, and sure enough, they are. Yeah. Yeah, but he okay. is still trying for the foul, no, and who wouldn't? But send off. Yeah. Oh, and Mankus has Nothing. only got 11 men as well. and he's yeah. So he's taken a permanent removal. He's got 10 men for the rest of the match. <laughs> and Ducky's only taken KOs. <laughs> yeah, was... And with the dirty player on the AV8 with a roll of six, if he had left those two Chaos Warriors there and done the foul, it would at least have broken armour. <laughs> Just saying that I was right. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. I, I didn't like the zero assist battle. At least, at least have one assist from that warrior. Yeah, and uh, you could have left both. I think if you had put the guard, the naked guard, a couple of squares forward instead of the back yeah. way standing. Yeah, but, absolutely. I, I felt that was over protection of the rear of the ball a little bit. And had you left the warriors in the centre providing those assists, it would have been even with these enormously fast evil elves. Getting around them and onto the back corner of the cage would have been tricky. And left the front edge at the edge of the cage a much much too thin, so I'm not sure we'd have seen Ducky do it. So I think that was overly defensive, this move to the right. Yeah. And again, Ducky's not really trying to pin him in that side, is he? He's letting no. him switch sides each turn. Yeah, I mean, he's letting he's... him come back to the centre next turn now. Yeah, and he's need to because he's not getting anywhere forward. No, the natural hit here is now on the sidestep piece just in front of the uh, the two uh, strong elves, which, which is a great I do quite like, oh no yeah, I quite liked that. I mean, first of all hitting the sidestep is never bad, you can choose where it goes down. And I'd quite want this cage attacking that area just in front of my two strength pieces because then there's all sorts of horrible things they can do back in return and also it might give me a good shot to use the wizard. Yeah, so now, so now that move though has made that blitz on the, the going laterally not really feasible. Is it? Yeah. So now he's trying yeah, to push down. The so much less attractive. Mm. And instead, he's trying to make some space forwards, which doesn't look like it's there. Mm. Particularly not on a push there. But Chaos do always have that option of just jamming the warriors up in elf faces. And um, they. It's not as bad as this one. They're also quite awful losers when they do that. If there's a bit guard on the elf. Yeah, but as we've said before, that this this elf team has a lot of tools, yeah. but it doesn't have guard. And sure enough, that is exactly what we're seeing happen. He's pushing those uh, chaos warriors, centralizing slightly, but really pushing them up, trying to create threat on those on the mighty blow elf and on uh, the rookie elf stood next to it. This is this is the, this is exactly as I predicted. In fact, <laughs> this is the thing where, like, yeah, now Mankis is is pushing in a bit, isn't he? Pushing forward, and it's like he's re, you know, now the wizard becomes deadly, doesn't it? Because yeah, he's really got to. Now you've got to build a wizard. very very careful shape in terms of your ball defense, and then even then hope that if he chooses to wizard, it's it's not going to work. Yeah, it will not work super effectively. Because yeah. right now the strength pieces for the first time are in quite a good position to launch an attack into the area of the ball. Still a tiny bit further away than I would have liked them, but yeah, that's why I would have tried to suck them in onto attacking that sidestep piece. Yeah, it's interesting because like obviously you know Ducky doesn't mind him just going left and left and right all day and him not scoring, but this like forces the action a bit more by putting that guy forward, didn't it? I'd, I'd, I don't know, it's kind of what I'd think of doing and what I would do but and what I'd expect people to do, but yeah, I, I don't mind they're just letting him go left and right all the time. and then, Like, either, either way is good, isn't it? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Is there, though? I mean, I don't yeah. know. I'm not that experienced in cat skinning, but I mean, I've heard the expression. I've always wondered if it's true. It's to do with uh, turning a bolt, um, apparently. Oh, okay. And I, and I guess there is. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> it's not actually someone taking a knife to a dead cat, because that would be awful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's it's supposedly uh, turning a board. Right. I do love the history of phrases. <laughs> and it's not like that, sir. So it's a bit standstill. Oh, he's moving again. Yeah, I think you have to cover that side because you know if you over worry about the two strength pieces, there are you know other elves on a lightning bolt can still come in and take that ball and throw it out. Room to swing a cat. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely more than one way to sack a ball. <laughs> And there's more than one way to stop a drive, though, isn't there? Like, you know, maybe, maybe yeah. you know, I think maybe this way is a bit more aggressive and gives you a bit more chance to get the turnover as Ducky, whereas going left and right maybe is more chance of stopping the score and getting out nil nil. I don't know. I mean, it's six and two threes, isn't it? So. The uh, the room to swing a cat just rather boringly. I do know the origin of, uh, and it doesn't come from swinging a cat around in a room. Boom. It comes from the Cat of Nine Tails uh, as a punishment device. Mm -hmm. mm. It was about cramped cells. There wasn't even space to punish someone with a Cat of Nine Tails, so they would take them out into a central area and do it there. Very interesting. That's not, is it? But it's it's apparently true. <laughs> I mean, this this could be a fireball, couldn't it? Here or a ball or yeah. anything. He's got two guys unmarked. All the other guys free, like he's got six players free here. Yeah, I mean, even a, even a bolt, because as you said, I mean, the, uh, it's the central, two strong pieces in the center can come. Yeah, there we go, he goes with the fireball. And then takes the club bomb. Yeah, that was the wrong it's, one to hit, wasn't it? Yeah, that, of the three that were in the fireball zone, that was the worst one to go down. Why don't you, I still, I can see why, but if you just bowl the bolt carry and blitzes, yeah. one, then it's still fat. Like the, he can leap in with spring four as well. Yeah. Eighty five. So, like, uh, well, yeah. he can still leap in with the uh, agility five, strength yeah. four. It's very easy to do, but it's only going to be a single dice. Um, of course, with wrestle, there's three of three outcomes there that are good. Oh no, two because it's it's a blodge piece, isn't it? No. Nope. No, it's not. So three outcomes that are good. I think the blodge is the next player right there. They're just yeah, that's... into each other. <laughs> I'm that's a that's a fifty percent. So he is going for it. That's a fifty percent dice. Gets in, of course, on a two plus because elves doesn't get the dice he's after. He's got three reels. Surely he's throwing one of this. Yeah. It's yeah. As horrible as the skull would be. Maybe not. Maybe he can base up other people. Oh, he gets the power anyway. Gets the gets the power on the reroll and gets the castle. <laughs> oh, 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 and that one's gone. That must be straight in that boat, surely. I think it has to be, doesn't it? He needs every, at the moment. He needs every uh, every man he can get. Yeah. And pretty decent scatter as well. I mean, the so thing about so, sorry to interrupt here, but the thing is about the fireball, right? There's also less chance of it doing nothing by doing the fireball. Uh, if you do the bolt, you've got a sixteen percent chance of doing nothing, haven't you? Whereas here, you've only got like a twelve and a half percent chance of doing nothing if you do the fireball. So, like, something going down is good, isn't it? Good maths there, three fifty percent ends up a one in eight, of course. So yes, twelve and a half percent, spot on. Quick maths. <laughs> Didn't even need a spreadsheet. I don't need the spreadsheets, but I use them anyway. <laughs> you don't need them; you just want them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, yeah. now surely we're three plus three plusing just to pick this ball up and pass it out to someone, aren't we? We cannot. We cannot not try it. Yeah, yeah, we, we, presumably we station the strength guy on the outside and then a blodge piece goes in and tries to pass it out. Does leave him very, very thin in front of the cage. A bad bobble forwards here. Could actually see Mankis in a decent position, but obviously there's a lot of bad outcomes for Mankis here. He's also got his wizard to use back, remember. What? He's going with the Springs 5. Why? Yeah, I think that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't However, hit. I didn't because hit it helps, it all fun. out perfectly, and he now has ball in hand. It, it's sure funny because oh. it's funny though, right? Because my idea was to go on the strength five because, like, yeah, obviously it's horrible if he fails the dodge, but it's if he fails the pickup, you've got a strength five around the ball. It's not easy for him to yeah. hit you because yeah, no. his players are occupied at the front, and you know the claw palm and that. It wouldn't be that easy for him to hit the strength five. 
Um, I like the way he built this the screen that he built to stop a blitz on the person he was planning to pass it to, but I would have put the strength five there. The reason he didn't, of course, is if the strength five passed it out, that person still had all his moves left and was gone. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then even with a wizard on him, the ball is just gone. Yeah. But, but yeah, Mankis is also he's getting a little oh. bit. These are the dice of doom. Yeah, there's not much help here. No. Four dice with a tackle mighty blow on that side stepper does not produce a pal. Or a push, pal. Yeah, that's, Defender yeah, stumbles. That's, that's looking horrible, isn't it? He had the tackle for it, and there you go. It's a, it proves to be a fake skill. Maybe he, well, he can't bolt now. Maybe he, sh he maybe he should have bolted. Yeah, it he should have bolted. Um, I, I think against elves, particularly if, the, if you've both got wizards, I use the wizard for exactly this to recover yeah. bad situations. Yeah. Because. If they, I mean, the second half, I, I think your odds of getting the ball off them or stopping them scoring are pretty much zero. Yeah. So yeah. you have to drive your drive home. Yeah. And so if they use their whiz to turn you over, I would use my whiz to turn them over straight back. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. That, again, that was why I like the idea of getting it to the the gut, the shithead that you don't care about, <laughs> and then he yeah. can bez away, and if he gets bolted, he gets bolted. Yeah, but had that plan worked, as I said, if he passed out, he'd have been uh, one step from the sideline and at least six spaces further away. At which point, how the hell do you recover it? You're, you're two turns away from it. Yeah. So yeah. at that point, you probably do keep the whiz dry and just hope to find some sort of opening in the second half. Yeah, exactly. So I didn't hate the, eight, the, the strength five plan. I probably would have done it different, but, you know. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny that you two were kind of disgusted by that one. <laughs> I quite liked it. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't disgusted. It just it wasn't. It wouldn't have been my choice because mm. you know, that strength five piece is... His AV7, so on that failed dodge, of course, which was a 3+. plus. So a 1 in 9. Um, you know, the grass can be lethal. It sure can. But this is looking real bad for Mankes now, isn't it? This is looking... Take the little stush op I know in, uh, in Washington State, just outside of Spokane, when I go visit my in-laws. Uh, long story, but let's not get into that. <laughs> grass is definitely lethal there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, plus, right, if he bolted there, he could have just clawed, he could have, well, not clawed, but he could have uh, mighty blow tackled the, the Edge 5 ta catcher, couldn't he, you know, you had here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then if the recovery went well enough, I mean, possibly he can't risk a foul, he's lost too many pieces. But, I mean, perhaps the, uh, the guard only beastman could have dropped a foul in and just hoped for less terrible dice. Oh, so we're seeing an optimistic drop back from the beastman into the midfield position, hoping that somehow it gets to blitz something, but it's it's not going to, frankly. Nope. <laughs> I mean, they say not going to. Bad dice happen. There is a chance this all works itself out. There is a tackler touching uh, touching up that elf with the ball. Well, it definitely ain't blitz anything now. It's fallen off. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think he needed that extra move. I think it was just as terrible in the space before. I think if you were going to do that, you needed to do two. So yeah, I didn't love that, but I, I get I get why. I mean, it's all panic to the desk at this point, isn't it? I was thinking about chaining, but there's just no need, is there? He's got two rules, no. he can just dodge away on a two plus. Yes. Yeah. And particularly as he can put some elves up there in case of a fail state. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> yeah, this is looking real. It's elves, so they don't fail anyway. But yeah, I mean, I still would. I'd bring the sidestep around uh, either directly behind the ball before that guy goes, or again. Not your else. Who cares? It'll just work anyway. <laughs> and I suppose the advantage of this is one, two, three, four, five, six. On a couple of go for it, so you can be the other side of that beast to stop it dodging off on a three and still getting two dice. But then there's no recovery anyway, and so he's not bothering. He's stay there. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. In theory, theory, one of the warriors in the middle could come back with the right together. Oh, wait, it's sidestep. Well, 
No worries. Yeah, this, and everybody this, just yeah. dodging. And oh, the elves just... going yeah. where they want, taking all the space, thumbing their elvish ears at you whilst they clutch your ball. And say, <laughs> oh, we're going to win, we're going to win because we're elves and it's our right. Love elves, obviously, and coaches that coach elves, some of my favorite people. Oh <laughs> dear, elves clutching your balls. Yeah, I mean, it's good, isn't it? The, the Edge 4 it turns out it's pretty alright, isn't it? Uh, I think rumours of their demise in, in Blood Bowl 3 is <laughs> greatly exaggerated. Oh, you'll get me on one of my oh. hobby horses, Jim. I mean, I'm not saying that dwarves didn't get... Uh, I mean, they didn't get a buff, they just didn't get nerfed to the degree that some other teams got little nerfs here and there. Um, but I think reports of them dominating are only likely to be true because everyone's heard reports of them dominating. So everyone's going to start with lots of dwarves, which means there will be lots of dwarves, which means they will dominate. Um, but I actually don't think they're going to be as strong as everyone thinks they're going to be. There are going to be other teams that uh, have success rates that are at least as good, if not better. I don't think dwarves will be right at the top of the pile. I, I so think I accept they redrafts, may take a step up from where they are right now. I think with redrafts they will be absolutely top of the pile. Um, now whether that will translate into overall win rates, because obviously there's a lot of shit people. <laughs> there's lots of people that don't yeah. min max. You know, yeah. the, 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 most of the stat, like the uh, the mean number of games a team plays is like three or something, isn't it? So, you know, it's. Uh, and I know you agree with me on that, Jim, that, that how drafts are implemented, redrafts, and if they are implemented, is going to be huge in terms of in terms of everything. Um, what skills are worth picking, how it's worth picking them, how it's worth spending your points, whether it's worth saving, and which teams are going to be at the top of the pile. Yeah, absolutely. Someone's oh, just said, took his names, he just literally called his blitzer blitzer, his catcher's catcher, and his line and line. <laughs> But but you need to make an effort to do that. You need to freaking click, click type in catch I, Yeah, you have to take effort to be lazy. Brilliant, I love that. <laughs> um, oh. And t the team is not just called Hyatt, it's called Hyatt's team. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Fantastic, yeah. Oh, can you see a snake? Nope, nope. String 5 running away like a coward it is. Don't you come with your anti-elf rhetoric? We know what your where your colours lie. <laughs> yeah, you're the most elvish of all of us, K Fog. I prefer my elves. <laughs> I don't like anybody else's elves. No. Oh uh, well, yes, that's just like bashers, isn't it? They that's love true. their claw pops, but they don't love being claw pommed back. So this half is over, the Elves score on turn 8. Uh, despite the fact they've got two KOs, uh, which they're going to want two rolls on, they're, they're not going to take, you know, they're not going to swap those two rolls for three hits on the line of scrimmage and another blitz. They're just going to run away and uh, limit them to two more blitzes, I would have thought. Yeah, but I would have thought, I mean, I'm absolutely 100% certain. Because, of course, it's already turn 8. Yeah, and, you know, Wizard now would be insanity because... Totally. He was just pick up on a 2 plus of a reroll. Yes, it's a 1 in 36 chance, if the Wizard works, <laughs> of them not scoring. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, you're only at 0-0. Zero, zero. It's not like you're 1-0. Yeah. I, I do think uh, the, the post-turnover turn was the turn to answer Wizard with Wizard. Yeah, 100%. And just hope that it could uh, get that ball back in your hands. Yeah. Where Nuffle meant it to be. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much exclusively what I use it for against elves. And um, sometimes, I mean, <laughs> plugging myself here, uh, my semi-final against Inarian, um, he kicked to me in the first half, I think, and I used my wizard to like you know force through for the touchdown. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, people say don't. I think they're that. wrong. I think sometimes that's absolutely the right move. You you need to if you think you need to get that score in, then get that score in. Yeah. <laughs> but in this in this situation where you've both got a whiz, that's the point of the counter whiz, isn't it? Is to be a counter yeah. whiz. It is literally the point. <laughs>
and especially in that situation where you had to get the ball off that elf because if you didn't it was gone uh, the lightning bolt that, that five out of six chance of at least knocking it over i thought was absolutely the way to go yeah agreed i mean especially with the edge 500 being stood there as well right like yep. that made it an absolute no-brainer for me because you're still getting to to tackle mighty blow the uh, the edge the strength for the strength for just gonna be uh, uh, just gonna be back in a sec jim it turns out the uh, the quickbooks <laughs> advert that i've got running on tv is actually running on channel four right now and the wife has paused the tv oh god only do that she only do that for about two minutes so um, i'm just gonna go and have a quick look Okay, so what one loner back? But yeah, how can you? I don't understand. How can you get a, get away playing against that team and taking two KOs? I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> it... Yep. Oh, you saw it was on YouTube. Oh, that's good, fun. Let's have a look for it on YouTube. Yeah, he, I think he had to use the wizard there, and I know he's like 80% or whatever to knock him over on the 2D, but I just think, who cares? He's you, You've bought your wizard because you know he's getting a wizard, so you spunk your wizard account his, don't you? I think it's the play. Um, now he's looking to use the wizard to turn over Ducky, make it 1-1 for overtime. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> um, it is hard to go 1-1 when you're down 2-0, no, but that's what he's got to do, isn't it, Jelly? That's what he's literally got to do. He's got to, um, he's got to use the wizard to turn over here as soon as he can. So, like, so obviously it makes it, I mean, that, that's the whole point, isn't it? It makes the defence really hard he, he cannot allow the quick score so he's probably going to have to use the wizard very speculatively to uh to get something going here because he has to turn over like he literally has to turn over there, there, there's no doubt about it is that he cannot concede the early touchdown or a late touchdown like a touchdown at any point he has to he has to probably use the, the wizard early to stop the chance of an early score for ducky mm. um so it's just it's fucking bad. Yeah, there's also the combination of the it, the combination of the injury on the ball carrier type thing. If that's been a bad injury that's not coming back, then it's looked even worse. Like without that plus AD, sure hands. Yeah. Eastman does nothing. Like really. Yeah, it was a huge apple, wasn't it? Oh, it was just a bad hurt, wasn't it? So it was pretty safe. But yeah, yeah, it could have been a crazy cast too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't mean turn over and score instantly, Wolf. I mean turn over and score on turn eight. But like, he's, he's, he's got to be prepared to use the whiz early to to get the turnover, because otherwise Ducky can score early and then it's over, isn't it? <laughs> so and Ducky still have both air posts left. Yeah, you had both apples still yeah. Okay. Should he fair, did I have to play gay in order to get a QuickBooks commercial? No. I play the owner of a building company uh, on a building site. You know, proper, tough, manly thing. Um, but I would not have a problem with the idea of portraying a homosexual. I wouldn't find that offensive in any way. Um, some of my best friends are gay. Plus, the sexuality of a character doesn't actually impact on the sexuality of the actor. How shocking is that? As a recent okay, Russell, no. Russell T. Davis uh, got in trouble for stating that he uh, only cast gay actors in his new TV show. And lots of gay actors said, well, can you stop doing that, please, with, with actors that are gay, not gay actors? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Do I get typecast? Oh, Yeti, I hardly ever get cast at all, mate. Um, I would be, as I said, on someone else that said, are you worried about getting typecast? No, I'd be really happy to be typecast. That's just cast me. Just, just give me work. Any work. I just yeah. want work. I guess you, you kind of needed, like, 
as the British Bay almost be spoiled to mean that you'd be tired of being typecasted. Yeah. Should be, like... Yeah, you need to get lots and lots of work as one thing before that would become boring. <laughs> so the elves managed to score them. Well, there's a shocker. Now they have the ball in the hand. The chaos don't. <laughs> He's got it on a bolt, bitch. <laughs> but at least they've got yeah at least they've got the uh, yes the bolt bitch um, we should explain I don't love exclusive language there might be someone listening or watching this that has never seen Blood Bowl before yeah it's uh, the string 5 just got pushes on the stand firm on the side so the idea here is because you're facing uh, because you've already won the game as well that's another factor here um, and unless something horrific goes wrong this is already a win the elves just have to not lose the ball they don't have to score <laughs> oh Awful at dice for Mankers. At least they got a free reroll on the kickoff. Right, okay. <laughs> so, yes, he's still got three after that. All right, well, that's probably still okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah well, number three. Um, so, the bolt bitch is what Jimmy's saying there is basically the, the piece carrying the ball, you don't mind getting lightning bolted because it's an automatic yeah. mighty blow hit on the elf. That's about to if say, it you works. Two apples, you... Yeah, and it means uh, it means that it, that's not happening to one of the pieces you particularly care about, and also it means that your better pieces are then able to fetch the ball after that, uh, because they're not going to be on the ground or off the pitch. So, because Mankids cannot injure anything, uh, he managed he could use one of uh, his two apples out of KO. Yeah, I again, I yeah. I, I don't really like that because yeah, as as. As uh, PC says, the match is already won, pretty much. Yeah. It's just, it's just getting like, you know, he's... Yeah, at this point, keep it dry. I mean, if necessary, you can just, much as I hate it, you don't have to score. So it's not even a withdrawn offence. You can just run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's and a bit hide, hide in a corner and say, come get my ball. And then when they do, you swap to the other side. And that will leave you space to run around and get your score anyway. So it's just, he might not be as optimistic as you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in exactly. how safe yeah. this is. I mean, it's, it's not safe. It's a game of Blood Bowl. You've still got to roll some dice. Strange things can happen. Suddenly, Mankis can start getting the better dice. You know, Ducky can fail a 1 in 36 on his first action. Yeah. No, we've all seen those things happen in Blood Bowl. But right now, without that sort of change in the momentum of this game, what I'm saying is the Elves don't need to attack. They don't need to score. If they do, it absolutely ties the game up. But even if they don't, they're in a winning position if the game ends exactly as it is right now. Yeah, yeah they've got all the cards, haven't they, the Elves? Yeah. Um, and it's it, the ball is in their court, uh, quite literally. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and yet, there's, there is still that wizard. It is still the yeah. one thing that, because it was kept dry, because it didn't wasn't used to try and solve the problem, and the problem obviously then got worse. Um, <laughs> it, it does mean it. It's a possible momentum changer, but it's less so, obviously, for a chaos team than it is for an elf team. Yeah. I don't hate what the Chaos are trying here, putting lots and lots of threat on the Elves, looking for that very early turnover. Looking for hopefully yeah, even a 1 in 36 on the first dodge off, which creates the space to use the Wiz and get really get some hits in on top of these Elves. Perhaps even cook a removal. I mean, you know, I do hear that happen sometimes. Shocking for I know, I know. I don't know where I dragged up that memory from, but I do hear Elves sometimes get removed. Yeah, and he was. I think he was about to move a little bit too many to the left, but I think at least uh, he switched the two back one a little bit back against mm -hmm. the right side. Which it I is the problem with creating this much threat is it's if it doesn't work, it's really easy to get out maneuvered, to get out of position, uh, and to create the sort of space where suddenly all the elves just disappear. Yeah, this is it's real tough. For, it's real tough for Mankis because he's got to get the pressure yeah. on. In, yeah, but then he runs the risk of the the, the elves just scarpering through. Then hasn't he? It is really. And particularly with a strength five or a strength four to punch the holes, it's you know it's going to be very very hard to stop. What doing is it. that doing? He's surely not hitting. Is that hitting all? The... I think he is. But why? He's hitting the piece in front of the loner. Yeah, but did you need to put that? As... Who are you no. hitting it with? I mean, if you're hitting with the strength five, you don't need to put any assists in at all. I think it's not about assists. I think it's about safety around the. Uh, oh, he's not. Hit, he's going to hit with the loner. 
Okay. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Coke. No, I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If anybody can remember when we can actually give Cokes away. In this. <laughs> yeah, the three of us all agree that we don't like this. Um, now, lots of people are going well, hang on, he's knocking loads of chaos over. That's fantastic. Yes, it is, but there's an enormous amount of risk in this. If these hits hadn't worked, I mean, they are all working, of course. But if it's not but if they hadn't the worked, there's, there's risk created. Yeah, you see, he's going to have to reroll that dodge. Yeah, and if it's not hitting with the loner, then then that's an easy free up. Holy oh, shit, and now he can get a hit from the back as well. There's that one in 36 I talked about, because he did put the reroll in. It was a 1 1. And now there is roots to hit this ball. Uh, I would also be looking to maybe use the wizard here creatively. Perhaps just a lightning to on the ball or on the sidestep and near the ball or on the strength five just because I hate it. Yeah, he's got a few options. He could literally just fireball these four in the middle. He could yep. fireball yeah, these I three over here or he could bowl. Yeah. Just all options. All, all good. All about just reducing the responsiveness of the elves to the blitz I'd now be pushing in onto this ball carrier. Of course, uh, unfortunately, both of the tackle pom beasts are on the ground and neither has jump up, if I recall. Yeah, no, no jump up. I actually didn't like that pile on the first turn just because of that kind of thing. But yeah. You <laughs> well, you know my feelings on overpiling. But, um, you know, he, he also needs to chip elves. So I, I, he couldn't have known he would get that chance this turn. But you're right, it does mean he's not ready to respond to it. Um... I mean, his only blitz is is with the naked guard beastman, isn't it? One, two, one, yeah, two. It looks like it. Um, and he didn't go with uh, Wiz, so I, I. The ball oh, carrier in February could, if, if you take the hit with the warrior and the, on the loner, then the two heads could do stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, there's ways, but it's. It, but it's on a blotter. I don't. Mm. Again, if you're going to do that, then surely you go in with the. Um, with the with the lightning bolt on the strength five first because it creates that route through easier. Mm. I think I'm not sure he's going to get a better opportunity than this, and I just think using the whiz on top would have increased the possibilities of this working out well. I wonder yeah. if he's going to claw from uh, the strength five instead and just. I think it, it looks very much like he is. Yeah. 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 I mean, which means he's hoping to get a better shot another turn he's than he got this the turn. Whiz. Yeah. I don't, I don't, if, if it actually is a removal, I don't need it. But it kind of needs to work. Otherwise, it's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. Certainly on pushes, I think you need to re-roll and get the pals and at least make that, make an armor check on this elf. Because to turn down the possibility of that, the positions he was left here, I mean, that warrior doing nothing on the loner and the blockless elf. That just feels like a waste to me. That there were some chances here, surely. Well, this, 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 like, Jelling makes a good point here. He's got seven players on the wrong side of the ball. Not sure yeah. the wizard would be. Yeah, but yeah, then, that's true. But then the next line that he writes is, "I think Stucky's getting away next turn," and that is the counterpoint to it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's um, and that's why so I didn't elf, like the pile. So good elf down. That's uh, that's good news for Mankis. Yeah, and this one could and be. A obviously, pile. we'll see the pom. I mean, this time you do have to pop, just because that thing needs to die. We've no, got the arm. Oh, it's KO'd! Oh, we can't pop it then. We can't. We have to just no, take the uh, swing of it going off. With a mighty blow being used on the armor, surely not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's great, yeah. It'll be a bad gamble. You know it's gone, and it still needs a 3 plus to be back in the game. I'm yeah. just thinking about appalling it, he doesn't. Not with the last app. He can't. He absolutely can't against this many claws and mighty blows, can he? Uh, again, he can just run away. I mean, he could, right? There's only six turns left. It's it's how... Yeah. And he couldn't get that... Nah, he could get it cast, couldn't he? Because, yeah, he's still on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like... Yeah, yeah. The, the problem is for Mankins as well, he cannot run too deep with, like, the ball carrier type. He needs to stay middle so he can go forward if needed. Yeah. Oh, no, the, the ball, the ball carrying, uh, the plus uh, agility beast has to come in and reinforce this chaos warrior, doesn't it? And the yeah. chaos warrior has to knock an elf over, yeah, because otherwise it. the the sidestepper just hits the chaos warrior with two dice, 
And if it's down, it goes forward. The rookie and the loner Come go on. forward. The ball comes forward behind it, and yeah, we're 2-0. I think, I think you take it, uh, the assistant inside and block the outside. You have to. You have to. Absolutely. And, and you need to knock one over. Great. I think both times are right. It's still not by any means safe, but that's some sort of safety. It's it's hard to get enough through, so if he goes through, you whiz at the ball carrier. Yes. Now it definitely is. But before, there was... Yeah. I mean, I thought at least four elves, and that's if my uh, my late-turn dodges didn't work out well. Now it's... Uh... Now it's probably I not think you retreat. something. Yeah, now I think you do retreat. Because also we are getting down in numbers on the elves now. We do only have eight on the pitch. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Like that, that was that was. I know it sounds stupid, me saying not pile on, but I, I did think that 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 first turn, like as I said, like you know, the start, like I feel like he's got to be prepared to use the whiz early. And he's going for the because aggressive of route. the. You know, you can't give a early score, can you? So, yeah, he's going for it here, Ducky. Yeah, I don't... Uh, he's going for the ball carrier, I mean, imagine them. Is he, or has he just put a catcher? Because that catcher's now in range of scoring, isn't it? No, he's... Is he uh, going to leave that catcher up and retreat? Because I wouldn't hate that. Oh, so then he... Split the focus on, split the, focus on the chaos tree. Yeah, retreat out of range. Or, I mean, stay in the pocket if you think you can defend it. Mm. I don't think... Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should have dackered, yeah. No, nobody should have dackered. That was an um, important... Uh, five plus with a loner. Yes, but Good. on two dice, it's only a one in nine fail. No, but just not a knockdown. <laughs> Had been bad. Yeah. Is he gonna? Is he gonna foul this guy? He's only armor eight. He can't. He absolutely can't. Surely. I mean, he can if he's trying to score. It's really nice to get rid of a fucking pain in the ass. Strength four guard stand firm, isn't it? Like that. That's a that is really real a point. Be thinking like the scoring is bonus. Yeah, just don't and get scored on, is and you win the game. And now he needs and to win another reroll. Oh, and he's it's another reroll. It's another <laughs> snake. Okay, I was wrong. Surely folding, folding. Yeah, I said it. I thought he's now going to get a better chance. Oh, and he's now got a better chance. There's uh, the chaos are nearer. Uh, there's less elves. The strength oh, five is gone. Oh. It surely has to be the wizard moment. Just in any way, use it creatively. Find your hole and shove it in. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, you might be. You might go for ten this into the wall. That's bad there's, as well. That's, there's, some, there's some bad things there. That was a freaking awful, awful scatter. It really was. I'm also yeah. I I I think probably the bolt was the right way of doing that, but. To be fair, Duck, Ducky's blitz on the ball carry now looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Because that's taken out his, his best retrieval option mm. in, in case yeah. that dodge fails. So, like, you know, yeah. he had that going for him. Yeah, this I was just thinking that, actually, that with, with the two heads on the ground, it is still a very tough spot, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is the second round. Monkey's got Dio first round and Ducky second round. <laughs> I mean... Are we in a tough enough spot where if we blitzed, say, the strength four off, it would only be a three plus, two plus, two plus to pick up on a three plus? And then you can dodge onto the sideline on another two plus and pass it out, maybe? It's a shit plan, but... <laughs> it is a shit plan. He could chain his ball carry, but it doesn't it, get him closer, does it? It is at least a plan, and, you know... I don't hate... I'm like, I will seriously think about just one dicing uh, that lineman next by the ball, and if he goes down, you can try to retrieve it. Yeah. And if he gets yeah. pushed, you can try the ball bingo and hope for a better place. Yeah, that's not a bad show. It's it's pretty bad, but it's 
one dies and most things make you more happy than what it is now. I mean, you can bang on the mighty blow piece and that does allow some chaos pieces through and around the ball and then go for the ludicrous pickup I suggested. It just yeah. adds one, two, three, four, five. Oh, goes, oh, okay. Okay, gets the power. Yep, knocks the ball. He's looking to push it out here, really. No, another bad bounce for him into a worse position. Oh, rough. Oh, that's crazy. I guess you got the darts, but it's too tackle. That's... I mean, literally ball. any other square that ball went was better. Either in the uh, Stanford Chaos Warriors tackle zone, or out, or over a downed elf and then somewhere slightly more reasonable to get a, a beastman around than right there. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting, wasn't it? The scat it gives gives you a chance to to like get it up and and win, but then on the other hand, just claw pumping the the, the strength four edge five was pretty. Oh, uh, oh. Whoa! Oh, he did the four three dodge. Gets there. Well, that's made fools of me. I love it when that happens. Wow! It, it, Blood just getting tackled by the blow now, but surely it's did done. he even did he even did dodge pop? Uh, um, it couldn't because it was too tight. No. Yes, yep. just, just, raw, just a naked 4 plus 3 plus. 3 plus. <laughs> Why not? And then 3 plus the kick up. And then a cheeky go for it at the end. And you needed that go for it, of course. Yeah, if you stay on the edge there, you're gone. So, I mean, needs must when the devil drives. If that's the plan that wins, that's the plan you put into action. I, I love that he found that. Hmm. And I particularly love that it worked. I mean, you just stand up blitz here, don't you, on the sideline? Yeah. If it goes in the crowd, then uh, who cares? Because you've got to move eight, strength four, edge five, leap guy to just go wherever. Yeah. But again, he's been having problems getting away from tackle. And we did see Mankins not being able to roll the five plus. Yeah. Oh, he's not putting in the crowd. He's not even getting the knockdown. And he's, and he's only yeah, on he reroll. Re I was about to say. Get I was about to say, surely rerolls, but he cannot really. Yeah, he's got one reroll. I mean, he still could have done one left. He done, but he's one thrown them in on those uh, those one in six fails, which each became snakes. Yeah. It is. I do hate that noise. The ha ha when they leap. <laughs> it does make me want to punch something in the face. It really, really does. <laughs> I mean, if someone did that sat opposite you on a tabletop, you know, put their agility five, strength four piece, leapt over and dodged off and went, ha ha ha! You wouldn't oh. be buying them a beer afterwards, would you? <laughs> that again. And it's, it's hard for Ducky, like, that both of those fails, like, the reroll failed, didn't it? It's not like he fully wasted those two rerolls as well. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, the I mean, the second one particularly, I think he wasn't in that bad a place, although when the wizard came, of course, it was. The first one I did think he had to re-roll. Um, I still think that may have been the better shot, but oh, I, you know, as there wasn't a tackle piece that could have got to the blodge side stepper, so perhaps it wasn't. Yeah, Jelly, and again, right? He didn't have the guard. If he'd had guard, he could have stood guard in the middle of the LOS, and he could have blocked blocked the guys on on the sides of the LOS, couldn't he? And then blitz through somebody who wasn't stand firm. So um, he did get kind of punished for like having no guard at all on the team, Ducky. I think. Because um, he kind of le was left with no other choice but to go for the blitz on the on the stand firm, getting those pushes. Maybe he should have re-rolled that. Um, or maybe he should just stack it. I mean, who knows? It's still and it's it's still not easy, peasy. Um, to ball this in a particular spot on a tackle piece. And he cannot really get rid of the tackle. No, I mean it's why he uh, why he leapt back and formed this sort of elf wall, isn't it, uh, to the side of the area where he's got the ball hemmed in. <laughs> Magic elves. Because the chaos are going to have to dodge out and dodge out backwards, which at least uh, means he can get some defence up in front of it. Though there's not a lot of elves left. Though there's not a lot of loads of chaos left. I didn't like that piling on. That was terrible. Mm. I mean, you've already got a stun, it's already out of the next turn. I think that was enough use, and now you've got a piece that's out of the rest of this turn that isn't blocking the mighty blow piece behind it. Um, I just 
all not good. Yeah, you you love to see a pile on. I mean, I, I loved it, but uh, <laughs> it's not what I would have done. <laughs> Who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> Um, okay, this time I'm going to gym. That was wrong. Um, you might actually, you could go for just a handoff back to 84. And even if you chip it, I, I just didn't think it was oh. that useful. Nope. No, he's down one way roll as well. Mankers. And Mankers has pretty shite dice, hasn't he, this game, to be fair? Yeah. They've not been brilliant. Couldn't you not just to put 80, the 80 up behind and hand it off backwards to 80? Yes, but then you're getting served. Are you? you yeah, you are. Even on a, well, I don't know. No, I mean, perhaps if not. If you're standing behind, how are you getting served? You can only play once. He might serve the guard, but that's. Yeah, that's what I mean. Serve, serve the one that's handed off. Yeah, but and people, numbers are to, numbers aren't looking that brilliant for chaos, let alone for the elves. But it's going to be uphill because there was guard all around the ball. No, I could hit it from the end. Could have hit from the edge. I mean, the one that the, the mighty blow oh, could yeah. go it's easily one by because one the strength eyes. floor could have taken the Chaos Warrior down. Yeah. Just needing yeah. one more assist. Uh, you did need a power on the Chaos Warrior to make it happen, but I, I don't hate the way the fact that he dodged off. I think I would have done. Yeah. I also don't hate that he threw a reroll at it. I felt he needed to. Yeah, he cannot fall yeah. down. And now he's in a reasonable position to perhaps drive this home. It, it's by no means done. But with two elves stunned, I do wish he hadn't piled on. With two elves stunned, with another one, sort of, another catcher behind the action a bit. A third elf stunned now, I I think this... Yeah. And that's tackle, this... right? That's that's a tackle player, and he's a dodge player. And now, Ducky could easily roll a one on this dodge away, and he's got an inbuilt dodge. And if that, you know, if he's got to use his last reroll, it's... Uh, it's I, I mean, I think, I think what Ducky's got to do here is cancel the three assists from the front, leap in with his uh, strength four ball sacker, <laughs> and sack this ball. Yeah, I think that's why he's bothering the back of the cage. Is I think that's what he's going to do. I didn't think he needed to dodge there, but I guess he's leaving the other one as the recovery piece. I'm leaving yeah, here. We go. Plus. Two plus, of course. Doesn't get him. Now it looks good being on a bloodshot. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you have to leave it on the bloodshot. I like leaving on the bloodshot. He does, and he gets the power yeah. because if this works, Gore, cool, he's won the game. So yeah, but that's oh, oh for well, once the scatter goes somewhere, man, is going to be glad of. Yeah. I, 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 I don't begrudge him that. I think he was due a decent scatter. Yeah, but I still, I will get that reroll for all time. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have used the reroll personally. That seemed, I, uh, I personally wouldn't have used the reroll, but I, I don't hate that he did. I think he feels he needs to win it. He you know, needs to get this ball. Yeah, and plus, if he doesn't I'm use win it, it in normal time, he is running out of elves. Yeah, if he doesn't use it, then it's the claw pumps, claw pumps that catchy. The, 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 that catchy gets claw might. He'd like it's yep. the other guy gets claw might. It's horrible. Like his team's deleted. Like he's all in yeah. If he doesn't play. get the strength five back for overtime, he's probably losing anyway. Even with the ball, that's he's running out of elves. There's too many stunned. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does have a babe. Okay, yeah. That's... It's only three KOs, and he got a babe, and he'll have two rerolls. All right, all right. Calm down, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we both agreed we wouldn't have done it. I'm just saying I didn't hate it. Oh, uh, uh, maybe. I maybe hated it slightly more. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Honestly, uh... you're so toxic. <laughs> I think if you hate it, you more hit the the whole sequence of play rather than the reroll. Yeah, right? uh, probably yeah. like we do. I yeah. think it's a lot of putting last good players at risk. Um, just not on. But for the chance to win the game, which is you know, he doesn't have a natty. He can't just you know assume that he's just going to bang it in on the first turn of overtime. I did it with chain pushes. <laughs> you can do the same. You did have them, but you didn't need them. Yeah. People just kept giving them to you. Oh, oh, he can't again, the dice are falling apart a bit for Mankis Stop again. Stop fucking I playing everything! For shit. Ah! And why is that tackle piece still laying on the floor? <laughs> oh, I'm actually thinking about hitting with it. I mean, I, I think if, if that had been a push on the sidestep and it had stepped onto the ball position, then he may yeah. well have glitched with it. So I think... Yeah. I don't. Are you are you even hitting that? Like you got eighty four sure hands. Isn't it better just trying to free up um, the ball? You can you can chain 
some you can hit the one he's just put the blitz on so you could have blitzed it from another angle and changed something onto the ball hoping for a scatter somewhere better but but where the catch is scatter like, somewhere worse it's terrible yeah that's the thing what if it, what if the what if the catcher just catches it now here it's a you need a power don't you, you need to hit that catcher and power it yeah so, so you i just think pick it up on the tree plus with your hands and i think out. If you'd knocked okay. him over, yeah. then, the, then the scatter looks better without the knockover. Yeah, I mean, it's a one in nine, isn't it? And then the dodge out isn't terrible because it's... Um, into a guard cage. It's a two plus into a guard the cage. tackle piece need to move, move before. Yes, it needs to just be stood up and go somewhere. Just anywhere. square forward, for example. In front yeah, of anywhere is better than lying on the ground. <laughs> just pick somewhere and move it. Or down to the cage. Now. It, just now, just pick somewhere, just move it. Just, oh, just to Kate stand and up and uh, Mighty Blow, I don't even hate that either. turn, for fuck's sake! Go somewhere. End the fucking anyway, turn, I mean, man. That's the problem, he's just deciding where he wants it, where it's of most use, and that's... Sure okay. hands. Sure hands is a thing. And into the... Picks on the dodge, it. and that is recovered. And now it's wow. in double guard, no matter which angle it comes from. Yep. It's the yeah, definition it's, of a loose cage, but it's a good gap cage. Yes, yeah, lots of ways in, but then what do you do when you get there? Oh, there's a huge amount of dirty jokes just coming to my head, and I'm not <laughs> doing it. I mean, he's got the one. Think, he's got the one. The one D, hasn't he, from his wrestler at all? Yeah. From which square? From one yes, of the front ones. There's only, there's oh, only one guy in front of the front He's yeah. got the penis That's cage. So He's got the cock and balls cage. So if you can <laughs> you can hit him from one of the front squares. Yeah, yeah. so you need to leave Lebo and then go out and come, yeah. come from the front. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing you can't do here. Seven, peg it, peg it, you can't peg him from behind, can you? <laughs> no, no, you. He's immune. He's immune. I mean that's the easiest leap. That's why I mentioned it. But it's it's a you know it does mean that would be two red dice even for the strength four. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. He could come around the outside here because there's no tackle, so he could go one, two, three, four, five. No, it's double G if I that's horrible. And it does a lot, of, and uh, the tackles are a bit annoyingly placed. Yeah. If you just because you're AG five, if you just two plus forwards onto the tackle, Chaos Warrior leap over it, and then dodge off it. Yeah, then yeah. you're dodging off tackle at, at, at multiple occasions, oh, aren't you? Five, six, seven, yeah, eight. I mean, you're, you're dodging off tackle, but one, two, three, four, five, it's then only a single go for it. Okay. Just trying to hurt tackle okay. instead. Yeah, instead he's doing... Oh, I'm a brick. <laughs> it all, you know, that would have been two two pluses off tackle and a two plus at the end, so it's and a two plus leap, so it's four two pluses to get the two die. Plenty, plenty two. Everyone instead knows. he's yeah. Instead he's recovering the uh, all, you know, all without rerolls. So instead he's recovering the pieces for next turn, settling for trying to tie these chaos warriors down and, and stop them uh, making the space forwards they need to keep the cover around the ball. Because of course Mankis does still need to get that ball home, even to take it to overtime. Very <laughs> Kingsler. Annoying non power there for him because he would have had the two plus out, wouldn't he? Yeah. And he rolls the two. Goes for the three plus out and it doesn't happen. Yeah. I I might have just stood there and taken the hit just to keep yeah. one of those chaos warriors back. Because now they can both come defend the ball. Yeah, maybe. He got he's actually ending up with a proper case this time with four he should be able to get guard on all four corners now. I mean I'd be blitzing at the end with the uh with the beastman at the very back onto the loner piece or blitzing off it in fact even better use the chaos warrior touching the loner piece to blitz yeah. that off and, run and then up both the chaos back. warriors and the one in front and the ball carrier all come and the guard piece at the back comes along too and then you've got three around in the same sort of shape as now and the guard beast just behind it the one that's on the ground can also come three spaces so there's all sorts of ways and then if all of that works at the very, very end, your Claw Pom beast can dodge out and try and join the party. The only piece you're leaving behind is the Blodger, and even that's not on tackle, so that can come too. I, mean, I think the entire Chaos team can move forwards here. There could yeah. be a lot of coming beastmen. There really could be. This is not This is not a great defensive shape. I see the Chaos just coming all over. 
coming all over these elves this turn. <laughs> from that cotton ball. From the cotton ball's cage. <laughs> it's going to come right down the front. No, no, it's a fragrance. Nothing to do with the parfum. Bob, do you like it? It's called Charogne numéro 6. It's only a question of, of how far it wants to advance, really. Oh, thanks, but that fits with uh, the guard beast in the back. Get up yep. being, being a back corner. I don't think he's going far enough here. No, but I can see why he does it. It's, again, it's, it's about recovering all of his pieces into a block this yeah, time. Yeah, now he's blocking the other way instead. And he's your... you, d d d why are you blocking off the elf that you're, is touching your blodger? That's still a one in nine to get him where you need it. I yeah, think but... that's a waste. I think that's a huge waste. Yeah, 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 a shame. Poorly decided turn from Mankis. I mean, he's still in a nice defensive shape. It's not terrible. It's just I think there were better turns that could have been done. Yeah, to be fair, he might. Um... And if he'd banged that elf out, I'd still not have liked it. But no, me neither. But uh, it's he was a uh, thinking chaos. I can get an extra hit. Yeah. I don't need men's anyway. I mean, the one bit I, I still probably would have tried the dodge, but then I'd have had so many more around the ball, it would have been safer for me. I suppose I don't hate him leaving the uh, the beastman in front of these two elves. Yes, it's going to get hit, but that's keeping an elf off the front of your cage, so I'll take that hit. I mean, that's more of a 50-50 call in my head than the other things he did, which were just wrong. Just wrong. I like I like basing both warriors here, isn't it? One's based by the Kaiser yeah. and the one's based by the Blitzer. And uh, Kingslayer yeah. says hello to PC and KFOG. Hello, Kingslayer. He always says hello. He's a very polite fella. Yeah, I did sneak a hello in a little bit earlier. Sorry, too busy watching the game. I haven't been watching the chat enough. And all the yellow to make it awkward. Yeah, I like I like the follows here from Ducky. So he's he's occupying he the warriors, to. isn't he? He's got and the, he's got the warrior. It's perfect, right? It's pretty nice. That's why I thought you could, you know, having the entire chaos team around the ball. I thought with two turns left to get your touchdown in, I thought was where I'd want to be. I don't think he advanced far enough. I don't think enough pieces came with it. You're right. You should that... have come all over the place. Yeah, I thought turn fourteen was quite poorly played from Mankis, and usually I associate, you know. Better plans than I thought he had there. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, now this like is a very tough position for him. It's There's not like plenty of elves in front of where he needs to go. He's not got enough Chaos pieces to go there reliably. Oh, oh, I think this is all kinds of bad. Yeah, maybe actually I think Sidestep should have been on the guard piece. To leave more better places to sidestep. Um, but yeah. Yeah, but it's still, it's still controlling the blitz, isn't it? And if it's not a power in the guards, yeah. you know, clear, clearing the sidestep isn't so much of an issue. Like, I think you probably just dodge away from the sidestep and don't care about it. And then use your blitz somewhere else, or just score, just even just go for the score this turn. Um, <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, please. Maybe, maybe just go for the score, is it? Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can. Maybe just go, maybe just blitz that Lino, the Armour 7 Lino, and just go for the score this turn. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. really want to give the. Uh, I mean, they've only got one turn. It would mean them one turning, and yes, they've got nice pieces, but. They got both the AG5 and the sidestepper and all sorts of shit. So geek. Just leave it at that. All sorts of shit. Yes, they have all sorts of shit. Um, no, I, yeah, I think you're right. Scary. I mean, I, I'd take take the score. I think. I think it's so hard to see how he keeps this safe. 
He spent so long time last turn and didn't come up with a good solution. So it's hard to see him happen this turn, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. He should have, he should have came harder last turn. <laughs> well, I was um, saying he should have, they should have all come, you know, smashing down can, the front. What he um, can, he could move. Like he could move to the side. You get a fountain of coming. But uh, uh, the chaos wire does on the attack mighty blow blocks back rows. Yeah. And uh, the laying down beast blitzes. And then you you gotta can move up and then you can move your cage to the side. Yeah, but that gives that, even more elves another turn to get around in front of you. And next turn yep. it's likely to be an even tougher shape. Huh. I'd let them try the one turn. They've only got one reroll. Uh, no oh. reroll. No, they've got no reroll, so yeah, let them try one turn without a reroll. There's a, a reasonable chance they end up injuring an elf. <laughs> Plus, if I'm chaos, I don't. I mean, I, I'd rather they didn't have two rolls on those on those knockouts, but um, I just I want to get the score in. That's and also I, the handoff option, yeah. But the, the two, but you know, the strength four ag five is now in a good position to attack the ball next turn. So unless I get it really safe. With multiple guard cover in every direction, it's so difficult. I think he is going to just try and bang it in. I think that's uh, yeah, gets the elf removal just to KO. I, I think he's going to score. Yeah, mm. maybe maybe he'll try and like I kid or something. Seems risky though, doesn't it? Like yeah, Jimmy in the German brothel, I think he's scoring. It's. Yeah, he's banging on men's and he's gonna then knock it home. And he gets it. He gets his uh, ugly reward. Um, Nuffle says yes. I think the elves have to at this point. Maybe a bit. You could have spent two seconds. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so but then the thing is, you can't spend too long, careful, because I've had it where no, I had no, no. like about five seconds left, and, it, and, the, and the, the, it just ended. The, the time to choose whether to reroll or not just ended. So, well, I mean, it's a great job we have an admin here to witness this game, because of course, there's a fair chance it doesn't end up uh, score. He is just stalling. Oh, that's a terrible cage. Wow. With two seconds left, he needs. Why? To... Yeah, this that's is awful. That is awful. He was. Yeah. He was. Better hate... than... Everything about this. He was yeah. better standing between the two guard if he was going to do anything. Yeah, that's, what, that's why I said I kid. Yeah, that is that is awful. What world is this good? Um, oof. Oof. I mean, you just dodge out, put the assist on the other side, leap in and take the ball away, don't you? If you want to do the cage, you should definitely have blitz with the tackle of gold and put, move the guard forward instead and left that lineman standing. If you wanted to go well, that's, forward. I think that's two very poor turns from the Chaos, and they've turned a, a really good position into a fairly shaky one. I mean, I'd, I still think there's a reasonable chance they score this, but I, I don't like this plan at all. Yeah, just there's the assist in, going in. Just dodge uh, it's just in. two plus for two, two plus for two dice. Dodge in, dodge in, uh, not, not leaf, right? Surely flash flash you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. No you're AG5, it's fine. We're putting a screen in front everybody? of it because I, we don't uh, want to pick it up afterwards. To, if you need to wrestle down, uh, of course. Yeah, you we're not. We're not picking up afterwards. Uh, now we need to. We need to pick it up with that 85 because otherwise. Yeah, now can leap. Can't he? he should have leaped, right? Because he's going to dodge through tackle anyway, so he should have just left. Yep, th he should have left this time. Yeah, yeah, he should yeah, just he should just left straight through because yeah. there was no point dodging and then dodging through tackle. He should just left. I mean, he would have failed yeah. anyway, right? With a with a one. Yeah, he, but he it left. was still better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he should have just left. It's a single block. two, it's a single two plus to get there, and then you've perhaps got movement afterwards, and still got dodge to run away. It, oh, yeah, not a good decision there from Ducky. Um, but of course, that's why he. Uh, he built the little wall in front of the chaos burst. And that's it's still putting a guard in. Oh, oh, blitz and just do the three plus. That's still a, I don't even mind that. It's two plus two plus with. It's two plus your hands, two plus go for it, two plus go for it. You could have just done the three plus pick up if you blitz that blood here. Uh, he only needs to move it, doesn't it? It's uh, it's not a sidestep, the one in, next no, to the ball. Was, so this is a one in nine fail. I think that's fine, and then you pick up and do two go for it um, and win. Well, yeah. and take it to overtime. 
But you could also. Because this is the second okay. block as well. Yeah. But you need. There's no. Like, it's a naked 2 plus also if he doesn't. If he uses the reroll, yeah. Yeah, well, if you just pushes that on a blitz with tackle, then it's just 3 plus pick up and score. Oh! Oh, oh Malakazawa rerolls! He's got and sure feet, oh. but then he's got two 2 well, pluses. Rerolls of the week. He's got a 1 in 9 fail first on the pickup and then two 2 pluses. 1 in 9 is fine. <laughs> and he takes it home. Who needs rerolls re of for the week? It's 84. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry, oh, yeah, it was a 1 in 36 pickup. Yeah. You're right. But, but that gets the blood pumping when it's two naked two pluses to score. I failed one of those against Cyber Knight just the other night. <laughs> oh boy, this is crazy, isn't it? It's re rollless overtime. Elves with maybe a full team as well. Everyone who plays knots in real life. They did a two die push and then two go for it, and the two die was a 1 in 9. Rerolled yeah. it, got the push, and then uh, got a one on one of the two go for it. So I forget which one. I don't think it was even the tripwire. I think it was the first one. So it's ten versus ten. That's, I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? That the hills have taken basically no attention. Yep. He has used both apples. But then, yes, but it's only a KO as well. There is nothing in the dead elf box, yeah, which is horrific to see. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, I'm not looking at that corner of the pitch. It upsets me. <laughs> But, yeah, anything yeah, but then, to be fair, the Chaos game. have taken no damage either. They've thrown their Apothecary in, but the only thing in their um, dead Chaos area is someone that was sent off. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was, yeah I was still That's the insight that. you're here for, Core. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, we've got I'm, Jimmy I'm for that. Back, I'm still back with that <laughs> play if it was really bad up. Right. Risking that, taking an extra block instead of just moving that away and just going with that card piece. Yeah. Uh, I thought the extra was term was, yeah, not good. It was like, because that's a 3 plus block anyway, so why not just take the freaking 3 plus pickup and minimize your stuff you need to do? Oh well, it worked. Yeah, any plan that works is a good plan. Mm, okay. We're still working on uh, Big Core and Irony. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next module, isn't it? No. <laughs> but the thing here is, there's no, there's no, there's no fear of the wizard, is there? No. Um, and you can score any time as well, so it's a much different drive for uh, Mankis. However, the zero rerolls may, makes, you know, the dice could have a huge yeah. effect, couldn't they? I think this is maybe a little bit too much with a deep combat. With the idea of a deep kick, potentially, as well. Prefer oh, this wait. shape that he's building now. Yeah. Now, this is what I talked about uh, on his first offset uh, offensive drive, um, where he's got enough threat on the three on the line of scrimmage. You don't need to surround them with five, six pieces. Four, I think, is even perhaps one too many. I might just have three there, blitz particularly at this important time. Oh, oh my God, there's the blitz. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Unbelievable, oh, yeah. Jeff. And then those chevrons are giving him the best sort of blitz defense he could have had. But if he'd had uh, a guard piece in the center, two warriors out wider, then these chevrons could have been facing the other side, uh, and that would have been slightly safer, but... Well, there's no rerolls. So, yeah. For anybody. But that's all right. The elves can just walk into the space they need. Yeah. Which is why I would have had the chevrons the other side and the chaos yeah. warriors. You know. Yeah, I think in he has five to spaces in front of that line of scrimmage, bunch of stiffs. But he has only got ten men, right? If if he had eleven yeah. men, he probably would have done exactly what you said. But the fact that he's got, if the fact that he's only got ten, does make it tricky. Yeah, but you use the strength to make up for it. So if I'm you had just, a Chaos just, Warrior just, one to the left to of where the furthest left one is, then you could swap the two beastmen two stages, step where two stage two spaces to the left of where they are, and still have as good a defensive shape. Plus the piece that he retreated off the line of scrimmage 
into the midfield area is mm. a tiny bit lost where it is. And don't like that. I mean, no there's, God. There's, there's very little you could do, Jimmy. I'm not saying it was terrible. I just think there's a slightly better shape that could have been thrown there. Because Blitz was your biggest fear. Yep. And Essex. <laughs> yep, I'm taking one of the scoring threads. The other one has to be in anyway. So it, but... but now, by doing that glitch, um, he's only got one hit on the ball, hasn't he? And he's going to yeah, sidestep into this little cage. He's probably not getting to us. He could sidestep like back behind us, at least harder. Yeah, yeah, he's going to sidestep in, into like the cage, isn't he? And then, uh, and yeah. obviously, he's only 55% to get him anyway. And if he doesn't get him, then he sidesteps forward. He can make that a three. Can you make it a three, guys? And I thought that was the right place. And now he's just covering the other spaces what? he doesn't want him sidestepping to, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that because you would rather no, sidestep no, in between. No, mm. it's alright, it's just... Not much you can do. But hope elves failed something. And that all sort of changed on... And sidestep... Oh. <laughs> he needs to make, but he needs to make sure he cannot sidestep away from tackle. Yeah, he can free, he can free a tackle. What you here, can't he, with diagonal blocks? Yeah, and he needs, yes. but he needs to put that uh, two heads on. I mean, I was wondering before he did the hit, should he have put the ball carrier in the space that the elf has sidesteps to, so that it had to sidestep backwards? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's. I know it meant no recovery option, but then it was going to sidestep backwards if it got powered in. Anyway. Maybe he should have yeah. freed up the trying to free up the warrior first, the tackle warrior. Yeah, like... but I don't like this placement either of the ball carrier because if you change through to forward, you can sidestep. Yeah, he's double scored. <laughs> he's double scored. That's why I said try to free up that tackler because it's not guaranteed, yeah. is it? And he did. He no, did one yeah. first. But this by no means without rerolls, uh, nothing is. But still, the problem that the ball carrier should have been one square out to the right, to the left, to force him size to the the table. top on here, doesn't he? But yeah, now he just uh, he yeah, just chains him out, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah um, and he's a two plus and one. Yeah, and it's two plus with reroll because he placed that ball carrier in the wrong square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's top skull! The skulls come too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, so he's going to have a look at them, see if they change just by ninja telepathy, but of course they didn't. That rarely happens. <laughs> rarely this happens. Game is mad. And now there's two tacklers yeah. on this. But it is always worth staring at them for a few seconds, uh, because several streamers that occasionally look at Chalice Games particularly hate it when you do. Oh yeah, you can take uh, the both down and you can get a third Yeah, hit. yeah so he doesn't yep. have to waste the blitz. Yeah, he gets him this time. Gets him this time. Some sidestep. I do sidestep here. Back, I guess. But that's, no. yeah, no. or forward, the aggressive. So the aggressive. Oh. Oof. Really? Oh. <laughs> but that's where the AG4 Beast is just going to pick the ball up. I mean, I, I think you've just handed in the ball, haven't you? Yeah, but no you go back, with, there's a chance that it bounces onto an elf or into an elf tackle zone. Yeah, yeah it could have been bounced into an elf tackle zone here as well, but it was one in a. Why are we doing this? With, why is the guard not standing up? Come on, Mankis. Because That's, it's going to dodge it's later. Gonna it's not going to dodge later, it's not. But it might have done. <laughs> Particularly the one on the line of scrimmage, though that that is going to move yeah. surely. Yeah, but yeah, so that one doesn't need to stand up yet. But yeah. I might have taken a hit and moved that back before doing that. But 
it, it is a one in thirty six fail, isn't it? It's a g four with short hand. But I'll, but I still don't think I will ever try to cut that card. No, yeah, of course he should. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what is this happening now? Oh, and then he there we go. Down. So there's two people. more pieces that can move. Yeah. As I said, I think there should only have been three Chaos Warriors in that area in the first place. So yeah. at least now one of them is getting away from those uh, shitter elves. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere where it can help with some of the uh, actually dangerous elves. Surely the uh, the guard beastman stays where it is, just in case that. Uh... Why? Are the, why is? Why are you there? Going? The other guy can go there. The, the guy laying down can go there. He could go down behind the ball. Or right next to it, but one in front of it seems a weird place to be. Yeah, I would have gone behind it for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because that dodge piece can go in front if needed, and and we're doing a lot of rolls again. And, before that. Yeah, and now we're letting the strength. Four have access around the back of our cage. I'm not sure I'd have moved that piece at all. No. You definitely need to move one. I hope to love the shape at the end of this turn, but right now, I don't. Now he's got a double GFI, hasn't he, to make it all right? Or at least one yep. GFI. Or we don't. We settle for a screen then dodge off the other Chaos Warrior, but that's no, no, all. No, 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 no. no. This is just, uh, we are. We're do no, we're just hitting with him and we're settling for the screen that they can uh, maybe, they all got, maybe that beast is... Uh, yep, yep. One, we just do a 3 plus more. Beast is 3 plusing for him. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. Okay. <laughs> all the yeah. dice. All the time. Well. So now it's, I mean, block, now it's just block this guy in front and then leap over for the 2D, isn't it? Yeah, whilst I hated everything about that, um, <laughs> Mankis was due some better dice, and he got them, so that's that's a thing. In fact, he just nice. hit with a strength 5, he can just block, he can just block the claw palm and then blitz straight in with a strength 5. He doesn't need a leap or anything. No, that's... Uh, that's yeah, a, just, that's just, a just come and attack it. Just, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, well, we do need to move a guard, please. Oh, I didn't realise. I didn't realise the blitz would stood up. To be fair, I thought the blitz could. Have yeah, we them. just need to move that guard, and then we're fine. Yeah, so we just do. We just two plus with the loner, yeah, because no one's got rerolls anyway, so it's, it doesn't count as a loner. It's just an elf. Yeah, I guess you take no. Do you take the, the wrestle hit or the edge five recovery? I guess. I guess you've got a bit of strength five. Yeah. Yeah, I think you do because the the edge five is in a better position to recover afterwards, but you yeah. don't get it. Now the big question here is: Do we retreat the edge five, or do we put it around the back just to try and? Uh... Good question, isn't it? Because you can put it onto the naked beastman and the ball carrier. You don't have to be on the other one, the one with block at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can do that. And then you've either got to find a blitz onto it, which means you're moving backwards with a key piece, or you've got to dodge off it. Uh, which, yes, I mean, you've got AG4, but it doesn't have block. It doesn't have uh, dodge. Mm. Yep, that's exactly the square I was talking about. He does choose to create that risk, because he's still got some... Isn't there just a route over to the right-hand side of the field, though, on a 2+. plus? Yep. That's why maybe recovering the strength 4 AG5 and keeping it in the backfield would have been a bit stronger, maybe? I, I don't know. Yep, yeah, it's the cage he's creating. I think he is just going to 2+. plus it. I mean, he might blitz oh. it off instead. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, blitzing it off. Okay. okay. I, don't, I, don't mind, I don't mind that. It's a rest no, I don't mind that. He's got other pieces he can... If he puts this place in, piece in the right square right now, that was a hit on three, wasn't it? So if it goes and cuddles the strength of five, can then you can them. then you can recover the other chaos warrior uh, slightly later in the turn. Yeah, yeah, well, I like that. And the stand firm will be annoying in there between all yep. the elves. Absolutely, between the elves and where you want to be. Um, I yeah. That's the square. Lovely, lovely square found there from Mankis. And now, uh, and now you've got a full okay. cage that can form anyway, and then there's a good chance you can recover the other Chaos Warrior, uh, the one with tackle, which yeah. you want up there too. All you need is uh, is a no one in nine with the guard beastman. He might not. Uh, he might go with hits. Yeah, he's going with hits instead. Because oh no, 
So it gives um yeah, it gives another Chaos Warrior between the strength five and the ball. Yeah, I don't hate yeah, that, but I would probably have rather had that Chaos Warrior. Oh, dirty dog! Going and gets, oh. gets the five plus. And it gives him that! I didn't see that coming. It's a one dice, though. But yeah, I know, that's why I didn't see it coming. But it came. <laughs> and now, oh, I think I have two. It sounds like Core has. <laughs> Oh, that, that <laughs> I really did some <laughs> Forgive me if there's any children listening, but if there is, send them to bed. <laughs> this should be in bed by now anyway, it's almost 10 o'clock in the UK at least. So 11 in the continent. Throbbing yeah. and pulsating game this has been. Yeah, but I didn't particularly like the second hit either. I think I've been dodging that tackle away and getting all around the cage. I think actually I will for once will have followed up for pylon and then just try to get the other tackle back to the cage. I mean, I can see why he didn't, but once you took the cheeky one die, I'd definitely have piled it on because if you remove that strength five piece, it's so huge for momentum swing. Yeah, but I mean, he's got uh, he's got tackle on him at the moment, hasn't he? So, yeah, which I guess it does give him that. Mm. But that's why I dodged with the other beast instead, uh, beastman afterwards. Mm, so Here it comes. Nope. Yeah, just hit in the back corner. <laughs> Top rope, Charlie. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like it was. I, m I might have put in that elf just to assist, and then two D with a loner, because then you then you kind of taken out the the mm. guard and the warrior. Was that, and weird, quite nice. was that that moves that frees up the tackle warrior to hit swing five and the guard beast to assist it? Yeah, that's why I, I would have really liked to have assisted the hit and then hit knock that guy down and base the warrior. I think that'd have been really nice. But yeah, I mean, this I is tricky, isn't it? Mankis, Mankis doesn't actually need to move if he can just avoid double sculling and just move everybody away from the cage again and get a mighty blow hit again on the catcher. Yeah. We can just reinforce that. has too. just spotted that the strength 5 elf is a dick. Um, <laughs> and that's 100% true. I can't fault you in your logic there. <laughs> Yeah, That's they're both dicks, and they, they've made it till the end of the game, these two elves. Both and it's not them. because they haven't been hit. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Dimmy, you're absolutely right. If you could bring a, a mop and some sponges to the commentary booth, we, we've got a job for you, mate. Thanks. Um, surely you're taking the Mighty Blow Tackle hit on that string five. Thank you. Ça me rappelle la fois où tu as enchaîné tous les techniciens gobelins ensemble pour en faire une masse vivante, juste histoire de tromper l'ennui. Surely? Ça, c'était de l'arme de destruction massive. Oh, how are you doing that then? Just move the guard piece and then your, your warrior just walks around and hits it. For two dice. Good. There's a if you put the guard. 4 AG5 one in the middle. Yeah, but you, just put, you just put the guard on there to catch you and you walk around and hits it with three assists. You don't even need that assist, you could actually just move the guard forward. Then he just walks over and hits it. It's one, two, three, four, five, hit. But and five. Oh, check the, yeah, well, potentially I like that in the front of the cage, so you have protection if somebody two, messes three, up. Four, the block four, you're right, no, I, I thought the, uh, for some reason I thought the guard beast was an elf, but it wasn't. And gets it. Oh. Boom, shake, shake, shake the elf. Honestly, I really didn't like that from Ducky. As I say, I would have put in that, that line or the bludge line or could have assisted the loan and then the loan could have blocked that and tagged him. I, oh, think I it was really mistaken. don't like, like Yes, that piece had got like that guard piece would have been up front, so if any of those two blocks fail, you still have guard on the ball carrier. Instead of ma mapping up that Come on, guard needs to go for uh, he's got plenty of time. I don't think he needs to be that overexcited here. No, no. Sorry, Jim. What was, what was your plan? <laughs> just make sure there's enough guards there. Swing five. 
the strength four is not a problem. Which it's kind of not really doing, because you want to hit more men. No, no, there's double guard covering it from every angle here. Is there now? Yeah, okay, he put that in. That's good. But I don't still know what the, the lonely guard could have been standing up there. I think these uh, these elves are in a tough spot right now. Yep. Oh, yeah, they have been. And off for a double skull, they would have been through, wouldn't they, pretty much? Yeah, Unbelievable. yeah, I, I, after the blitz, which I didn't love that yeah. defensive anti-blitz setup, I thought it could have been wider on the LOS shitters, and hence slightly better at blitz coverage, but it, it paid off. His yeah, double skull I mean, on the line of scrimmage hits was responded to by an elf double skull, and that's brought us to where we are, which has been I'm glorious not... to watch. What a game of Blood Bowl we've seen. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I've criticised a couple of turns, Cause criticised everything he's seen, but that doesn't no. mean we haven't seen some really high standard Blood Bowl um, and just because I've spots maybe a slightly different plan doesn't mean I'm right. It doesn't mean they're wrong, except the times where they were wrong. Um, I do it, think there's still been some really good blood things. It's yeah. like Mankin's not putting his ball carrier, so at least Chambers was into a tackle player and stuff like that is just bad. There's no yeah. need to give him a free two plus. It was yeah, literally not... two plus with reroll. Uh, three plus with reroll into two plus with reroll to win the game. I hope we've tried to be clear in the difference between when we're seeing something we think is just absolutely wrong and something that's just a choice or a different option that we might have preferred. But a lot of this game has been played to a very high standard. These are two very, very good, very experienced coaches. Come on. So, thank you. So, yeah. Move yeah. the pieces. We get reinforcement first before you do anything. You'll regret later. Absolutely, he is doing what Cole said. He's recovering his pieces up towards the ball area just because there's a few that are slightly out of the game here. And of course, with no rerolls. Okay, I don't quite understand why the other one didn't come, but there we are. Um, is it because he won a blitz with it? But if everybody else yeah. goes down? Uh, is he just going to do lots of hitting and then blitz the completely irrelevant elf with it? Yes, and then he's going to hopefully foul that dude laying down if needed. Oh, that. That is needed. That needs kicking in the face. If he gets rid of that, then this game is won, even if it's, you know, one in turn 24. If that elf is removed, even if it's stunned, then next oh, turn, oh, oh, another elf oh, gone. Okay, we're took, finally starting took, to see the damage against the elves that we perhaps should have seen earlier in the game. It took all the way to all time. But now we have four in the casualty box. That's nicer to look at. And three KOs. I think I think the foul is inevitable here, and I think after that we are done. Yeah, he didn't blitz with that piece, cool. So it absolutely should have come up nearer the action by now. Yeah, agreed. It's that is something that's just shit and wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to be fair. Um it's unbelievable, isn't it? One Kaz in, in the first sixteen turns and then four Kaz yep. in overtime. Unbelievable. Mm, and we not okay. Oh well, that's that's Blood Bowl. So we're not even fouling that piece. No, why are we going that? Oh. And now we're putting a non-guard player there. Have we done We were perfectly the safe where we were, and we could have smashed the AG5 strength okay, four so in the piece. Okay, so this is not an armor break. We're still fouling it, yeah, yeah. So now we're left to one dice on. And if it doesn't break and we get sent off, we're suddenly in a bad position. Oh, okay, at least we weren't sent off, so at least it's uh, it's not able to do much about where the ball is. It's still a one, that's potentially one dice. That's only one guard. Hello, Skiro. That's that's not even a half. Yeah, two that's... plus leap and uh, four plus with four plus five plus six plus uh, four five six seven eight nine. So then you could also make some go for it instead of dodge the other way around, but that's probably worse. Yeah, you just, I think the dodge four. You cancel the claw right? pom. You cancel the claw pom on a two plus. Yeah. Four and it's a two plus leap oh, and a four plus dodge with re roll on the dodge yeah. for one die on the ball. I think that's the logical way. Yeah, whichever that's way, more, whichever way you do it, it's a leap and a dodge, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of, it, it, this deserves to go to work, because this shouldn't have been on. Yeah, this shouldn't have been left on. But it's, I mean, it's still a, a fairly solid defensive shape. It's not, not terrible, it's just not optimal, maybe. 
So it worked. He gets in there. He gets oh. his one guy. Only a push, though. He should never. No, don't, don't. Either go further away or stay and have a multi assist foul. One way or the oh, other. You, I'll put both your ga all your guard around and said, okay, block at least. Yeah, yeah, he could have just fouled the claw pump, couldn't he? Or, or somebody else and have all guard. Like, you've got to have all guard. Got to have all guard there, surely. Yeah. All guard, all men's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The other option is you don't. You just close the back door with that final guard piece instead of fouling. That's no better than this. Yeah, but he gets the promotion. It's all going to be fine. And we're that's, going to see a pump. That's a you score. Need you need to pump just for style points now. He does. No, that, that's not a score because that's a go for it. It's surely not. No, you're right. Yeah, it's you wouldn't do the go for it. But you're standing on the line. You got just need to move you can get out of range of everything except the one the tackle pommer is on and you can give that tackle pommer hits and cover and screen off yeah. the ball area too so this is this is done yeah yeah you just move it down and with the, with the guards but why are we going in the direction what else actually are oh again it's that's i don't know I wish that, I is, tell that is pretty shit and wrong, isn't it? I think that's that's a hundred percent shit and wrong. Yeah, I think we can all agree that's shit and wrong. I mean, it's going to be fine, but it's yeah. still it's giving a one percent chance that you just don't need to. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not shit and wrong, but it is. If he does wrong. run the other way and put all his guard between them and taking the hits, probably no. It's it's probably just wrong, Jimmy, because yeah, it's not going to actually be a problem. Yeah, but, but that's now it's yeah now he run. And now he what are we doing he, there? He's realised that he was running too far from yeah. actually doing a proper cage. Yeah, so now, he's now we're three. trying to build a proper cage. Oh. <laughs> well, this is this is a bad decision that's now getting worse, isn't it? This is the problem here. It's it, like it's prob it's still fine. It's just because of this working, but it's just. Is it? Is it? I'm glad it's still fine because I thought it was awful. Yeah, because I mean, there's again, it's left. fine. It, there's no L's left. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but it's just, a, yeah, you're running one play and realise it. Look, no, it's, turn, it's turn 22 on a very long game, a stressful game with loads of swings and some roundabouts <laughs> and the occasional got, slide. Got Russell coming in, though, from the yeah. backside. Surely. And a thesaur. So it's it's fine. Yeah, it, on, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't a hundred percent what's it called optimal or anything. Come on, Russell, Russell. Oh, it was definitely wrong, but it wasn't it wasn't shit and wrong. Shit and wrong is like no. you know, just leaving a leaving your ball completely open to get two D blocks yeah. every single turn, isn't it? Yeah. That's shit and wrong. <laughs> yeah, leaving somebody a one percent chance when they should have had a zero percent is wrong. Yeah. But it's not shit. <laughs> We do need to define a lexicon, and the difference between shit and shit and wrong, I think, is quite clear to me in my head. But yeah. perhaps not to everyone listening. You could have a... yeah. I, I can show you a clip where somebody ended up being burned with being shit and wrong, and not taking a both down and winning the game. <laughs> shit and wrong is that guy against Fatin, <laughs> with his, with his yeah, dwarves. Right. <laughs> Just just ran the wrong way with it three turns. That is dead. That is the absolute definition of shit wrong. That could not be more shit or more wrong. It was amazing. It was yeah. the best thing I've, I've ever seen. I've seen the like. I've, I've seen it perhaps for one turn where someone goes the wrong way. But and on Blood Bowl too, where you're always coaching mm. from behind your team as well. It's not like. You fumble you where you're always to. coaching left and right. No, it is just like fumble. <laughs> On every client, it's it's oh, uh, it's yeah. You can that you can switch to, you can go from like, from like weirdly behind if you want to and get everybody seasick. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know why you didn't just go for three Ds. Like you don't need a blitz with Clop on there. You just have to make three DBs for pushes, don't you? That's all you have to do. Yeah, like, he, and, and he's managed to make a two D here, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. you mean you think the. Crazy Dwarf yeah, coach was using the dynamic Blood Bowl 3, Blood Bowl 2 camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. one uses. Yeah, no, that might not explain it at all. Oh, he got the power. If he, if he hadn't got the power there, he didn't have 3D on the next one, did he? No, oh, it's, yeah. Uh, and it's, yeah, the, 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 it's a bit weird. Uh, wasn't, wasn't perfect. Wasn't shit and wrong, but it no, was. No, it, it's fine. It just, yeah, it's not 100% optimal. Yeah. And 
whilst look we all do everything every turn if you're watching any game of mine you'd be able every turn to say the same that's not 100% optimal yeah. Yeah. so much easier in the commentary booth um, so don't blame yourself for that don't beat yourself up just aim for optimal and oh, accept oh, oh, you may not ever get there yeah I didn't fantastic see that well what a game of Blood Bowl I oh, did he deserve it you don't get what you deserve in Blood Bowl so that's an irrelevant question but I s slightly feel Mankis had the tougher dice during the first two halves. Um, I think Ducky's offense was pretty not great. Yeah, that's a ridiculous little damage for Hot Jump. All right, well there's three of us, so let's let's say who did the right coach win. I, I'm going to put my uh, put my balls out there first and say yes. I think Mankis deserved that win on balance slightly. Only sixty, only fifty-five, forty-five. But I think, yeah, for me, Mankis deserved that. Mm. Yeah, it was interesting. One, I mean, that yeah, I mean to be fair, like Ducky's offense looked pretty bad, but I mean he did put in two rerolls that both failed, didn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, no, those snakes were crucial. He's just made that point, and I can't disagree. Yeah. And uh, he, but then it, again, yeah. Congrats, man, kids. Commiserations, Ducky. Um, yeah, what a, a cracking a game, game of football. Yeah. I hope both of you just feel proud to have taken part in an absolutely stunning, spectacular match. Yeah. Swings, roundabouts, all of it. Not enough snake ladders. Not, not enough beast men coming though. <laughs> well. I stand by that, Jim. You know I do. I think they should all have come all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, you know, it was, it's tricky, isn't it? Right. There was there was a lot of tackle there. There was a lot of tackle there, and that, that offense wasn't easy. You know, it was the stand. No, term. it was. Um, so I think it's I think it's maybe it's a bit too easy to like bang on Ducky for his offense being bad. Um, you know, there were the snakes. There were the wasted re rolls. Um, but then, obviously, by the same token, of course, Mankiz was just not getting any removals whatsoever. <laughs> was oh. getting outbashed in the first half. So you know, it's. Um, oh. I think it's. I think it's the one time I I might have liked as I, I mean I suggested you know perhaps putting a couple of threats up and dropping the ball back, trying to spread the chaos out a bit. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to say something strange here. <laughs> Maybe even going for a passing play. Whoa. I know. I know. As I hear it, it sounds mad to me, but. I think you're going too far there, PC. Uh, maybe I am. Maybe I'm just getting tired. <laughs> I'm not going to say that word, Buff, but to me that's either the coward offence or the withdrawn offence. <laughs> I'm not giving that man a naming right. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was, it was a great game and I thought you both played well. It and, was. And like, you, know. yeah, you had the option to play like a total defence where you try a couple of times to go forward and it's not if you're starting rolling back worth instead. Yeah, um, I don't like yeah. going too deep. The problem with going like full deep is with the wizard as well is that bloody dangerous with a two yeah. hit, uh, 84 sure hands player. Absolutely. The problem with the withdrawn offense is exactly that is, is you know, with the whiz still, they can yeah. slowly close in on you, use the whiz at a key moment. And as you said, the two heads comes in, nicks the ball and suddenly it is 1-1 again. So there's mm. some problems with that. I, I, I respected the idea that he went for the 2-0 because at that point it's a one game, of course. So I think I would have done the same as Ducky did. Except, you know, hopefully maybe the odd bit slightly different, uh, but maybe not. Yeah, I, I, I like to do that. Like, a blood bowl, that's the main takeaway. Yeah. You do stab at trying to get past, and if you don't, you can revert it back and turtle instead of try forcing it. Yeah. Which maybe what a little bit thing happening was forcing the tunnel at a point where it might have been better not risking it you're, you're welcome ducky it was an absolute pleasure to watch uh, remember when we're um, critical of anything it's because we need to say things and i admit right at the end and i will always stand by it so much easier to have a look at someone else's dice uh, someone else's turns and say oh you know i could have done yeah. something two percent better than yeah. it is in live in the game with the pressure with the tiredness finding those in two minutes every single turn turn after turn i i said at the end and i'll you know I, i'll say anything behind someone's back i'll say it to their face as well i thought it was a cracking game of blood bowl from two great coaches really enjoyable to watch uh, and no shame on either of you i thought that was some brilliant blood bowl yep 
Agreed. Great, great sign out, uh, PC. So there you go. Thank you very much, PC. Thank you very much, KFOG. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.